Okay, this is uh, number three from the 2019 Calc A, B, and Calc B, C exams. And it's one where they give you a graph of F, but it's really the graph of the derivative. And then you answer all kinds of questions about it. So let's, let's get started. So um, you're told that this is the graph of F that you're given, and you're also told that the point three comma three minus root five is on the graph. Um, you also know that uh, that part to the right is a semicircle and the other two parts are linear. And the first question, um, part A, says that uh, the integral from negative six to five of f of x dx is seven. And what we wanna do is figure out the value of the integral from negative six to negative two of f of x dx. So first thing I'm gonna do with this is uh, I'm gonna break down that integral into the sum of two integrals, or actually a difference, I guess. So uh, to get just from negative six to negative two, I have to go from negative six to five and then subtract off the integral from negative two to five. Um, and that'll leave me with just the integral from negative six to negative two. So that's what I wanna do. And um, so I'm gonna start off, I'm just gonna fill in some things that I know. So uh, this is definitely seven, cause that's given, minus, um, and now we're gonna go to the graph and figure out some, some areas. So uh, this region, as I go from negative two to five, this region and this region are exactly the same size, but they're on, uh, One's above the axis, one's below. So those actually cancel out, so I don't really need to find those. And then similarly, this region with this region will cancel out. So all I really need to do is find the region that's left. So from one to five. Um, from one to two, this region here is, um, it's a, a square and then a triangle that has an area of one. So this total thing is two. And then from two to five, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna do a square minus a quarter of a circle. So I'm gonna dot in this square here. That's a three by three square. So I wanna do plus um, nine, so the square minus uh, the quarter of the circle. So the circle has a radius of three. So the full circle would be nine pi. So it's gonna be minus nine pi over four for this region. So minus nine pi over four. And then uh, just kind of cleaned this all up and I ended up with uh, nine pi over four minus four when all was said and done. So uh, keep in mind that for this problem, we actually evaluated the integral from uh, negative two to five because we're gonna need that later um, for another part. So we ended up here nine pi over four minus four. All right, let's look at uh, part B. So in part B, we wanna evaluate the integral from three to five of two f prime of x plus four dx. First thing I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna break this up into multiple integrals. So uh, I'm gonna pull out the two and go uh, from three to five of f prime of x dx plus from three to five of four dx. And these are both integrals that I can do. So uh, here I'm gonna use a the fundamental theorem. The antiderivative of f prime is f. So it's gonna be f of x and we're gonna go from three to five plus, when I look at this other integral, the integral from three to five of four dx, I think of it as just a rectangle that has a height of four and a base of five minus three of two. So this is gonna be four times two. Or you can actually integrate it and use the fundamental theorem, it's up to you, same result. Uh, so here it's gonna be two, and I'm gonna do f of five minus f of three, and then add that eight. Uh, if you look at the graph, you can see f of five. So remember, it's the graph of f. So f of five is gonna be zero minus, uh, remember we were told that weird point on the graph? It turns out this is where we're gonna use it. So f of three is three minus root five. And then we're gonna add eight. And this is where they try to see if you can distribute, I guess. Um, when you clean this up, you end up getting two plus two root five. And so it was a lot of work. So I'm just gonna summarize over here that this integral that I was asked to find is equal to two plus two root five. All right, the next part is kind of basically a candidates test question. Um, so we're told that g of x is the integral from negative two to x of f of t dt, and we wanna find the absolute maximum value of g on the interval from negative two to five inclusive, which just kind of screams candidates test to me. So from this, I know that g prime is gonna just be equal to f of x. So take the upper bound, plug it in, multiply by the derivative of the upper bound, which is just one. So g prime of x is f of x. And then I need my critical points. So g prime of x equals zero. Um, you can actually just look 
at the graph of f of x and see those values. So that's going to happen at x is negative 1, x is 1 half, and x is 5. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to kind of find some regions here. Um, so the first region, uh, which we found in part A, is 9 minus 9 pi over 4. So if you go back to part A, you can see where that comes from. It's a rectangle or a square, really, minus a quarter circle. Um, this region right here, if I find it, is going to be a triangle that is uh, 1 half. Uh, the base is 3 halves and the height is 3. So overall, that's 9 fourths. I don't actually know if I'm going to end up using that. Uh, this triangle right here is going to have an area of 1 half. The base is 3 halves and then the height is negative 1. So I get negative 3 fourths. And then this part right here is a triangle um, with an area of one half. So I want to find all those so that I can uh, set up a table and then evaluate this thing. So here's my table x, g of x. Remember, it's always the integral from negative 2 to x of f of t dt. So I'm going to put in uh, endpoints, critical points, um, and it turns out 5 is an endpoint and a critical point. Uh, so let's see. Uh, here it's the integral from negative 2 to negative 2, so that's 0. Then I need the integral from negative 2 to negative 1, which is just going to be 0 plus 1 half. So we get 1 half. Uh, then I'm going to find the integral from negative 2 to 1 half. But really what I'm going to do is the value that I got at negative 1 plus the integral from negative 1 to 1 half. So ultimately it gives me negative 1 fourth. And I got that by doing 1 half and then plus the negative 3 fourths. And then finally, I need to do the integral from negative 2 to 5. If you remember, that's the value that we actually calculated in part A. Um, or, uh, well, it's 11 minus 9 pi over 4. So it's, I'm going to shade this in. So it's all the kind of like green region there. Um, and so it's that rectangle, uh, it's a square plus a triangle, which gave us 2, and then the additional 9 minus 9 pi over 4. Okay, so now I want to write my answer. It's a very candidate's test, so I'm just going to write down what needs to be true. So g of x is continuous, and therefore the absolute maximum is going to occur at an endpoint or a critical point. And we evaluated the function at the endpoints and the critical points, so we actually know the absolute maximum. So I'm going to say, therefore, the absolute maximum is you need to figure out which one of these is the biggest, but it's definitely 11 minus 9 pi over 4. Um, that's, I think, pretty clearly bigger than 1 half. Um, and the other one is 0, and the other is negative 1 fourth. So um, we get that. And then I'm just going to say by candidate's test. OK, so that is part C of this. And now we're on to part D, which is a limit question. So we want the limit as x approaches 1 of 10 to the x minus 3 f prime of x all over f of x minus arctan of x. The first thing you should do when you try to evaluate a limit is substitute in. Um, and we're going to need some values to do that. So remember, this is the graph of f, which means we can find um, f of 1 and f prime of 1 from this graph. So uh, right there tells me that f of 1 is just 1. Uh, for f prime, I'm going to look at this line segment here, which has a slope of 2. So f prime of 1 is 2. I, I, I know that 10 to the first is 10. And then I also am going to need arctan of 1, which uh, I'm not sure if you can leave that as arctan of 1. So I'm just going to evaluate it because I have it memorized. So arctan of 1 I know is pi over 4. So now to evaluate the limit, I'm going to try direct substitution. And I get 10 minus 3 times 2 over 1 minus pi over 4. That's not indeterminate, so we're actually done. Um, so this limit is 4 over 1 minus pi over 4. And that's it. All right. So that's question number three. I hope you found this helpful and good luck.